Derek Barron here from IBM Software Group. This is the first in a four-part uh, series of demonstrations where I'll be discussing with you and showing you some of our SOA governance solutions. Many of you have been asking for this, and uh, so we wanted to show you how the combination of Rational Asset Manager and Web Search Service Registry and Repository can be combined together to give you a holistic uh, development time and runtime governance of your BPM and, and SOA solutions. Let's begin here by considering the importance uh, in general of SOA governance, and we'll just kind of take an example uh, to illustrate this. And uh, here we have an accounting department who's come up with a credit verification service, and this fills, fulfills their need, this departmental need around accounting for credit verification. Now, as part of delivering this service, other lines of business uh, will discover or hear about this service and will begin to use it. And of course, this is a good thing. This promotes reuse, and uh, now other parts of the organization are benefiting from the credit verification service. Over time, though, the other lines of business begin to increase their usage of this service, and, and what this does is puts a lot of pressure on the credit verification service, and oftentimes the quality of that service will begin to suffer. Its performance, its availability uh, can, uh, can, be, can become at risk, and now these lines of business departments that depend upon that service uh, are feeling the pain because their applications are slowing down or are unreliable, and and, uh, of course, this is not a good situation. And so in order to respond to this, what happens is the accounting department who originally put up the, uh, the credit verification service increased their resources and consequently their costs uh, in order to fix the, the problem. And, of course, this is just a temporary fix because as you know, usage uh, continues to increase, um, we just have uh, an additional problem with uh, uh, the temporary fix and performance only lasted a little while, and now we have more and more usage yet again, and uh, the problem recurs. So what happens is that the overall maintenance costs uh, increase, and the provider of the service uh, can no longer really sustain it, and so it, it becomes decommissioned. And now all of these people, all of these departments that were depending on this service have to rethink and re-architect what they were doing because the service wasn't viable and couldn't be continued. So um, this happens a lot, and, and this really exposes the need for governance. We need a way to uh, govern and control uh, the service uh, level agreements, ensure that the people using the service will get the quality of service that they need, and so this is fundamentally what SOA governance is all about. Uh, now let's take a look at what we're offering from IBM to help you do this. And uh, our solution here is to unify both the design and development part of creating and governing your SOA services along with the runtime systems. And so what we've offered is a um, what we're offering is a bundle of WebSphere Service Registry and Repository for the runtime components and Rational Asset Manager, which is highly optimized for the design and development part of SOA. SOA governance. Now, if we look at the two and the way they interact, we see RAM on the top here, and there are uh, a number of assets in RAM that are all development-oriented assets, uh, things like business cases, uh, documents of understanding, the charter, and then also especially the implementations and the actual code that either connects to your systems uh, and exposes them as services or is even just the service code itself. So you've got the implementations, the releases, all the development assets. And a subset of those assets will be linked over into the runtime part of WSRR, which is where we maintain and govern the runtime service itself. So we're talking about the endpoints of the service that are available at runtime. And so you can see here the linkages between the certain assets, certain objects between both tools. These are maintained and synchronized uh, throughout the governance lifecycle, which itself is governed across both the product. So we'll see that a little bit later in the demonstration. Now, uh, 
an overview of these two capabilities. You've got the storage and organization of the assets and objects in both repositories, the uh, customized workflow, the governance workflow that's enforced throughout the two, the unified products, the ALE. Uh, we've also got the ability to do impact assessment on the development and, there's, and runtime side as well. And then, of course, uh, overall auditing and reporting across them in, in addition to that. So this is kind of the, uh, the, the overall view. Now, in terms of acquiring this, uh, the ALE, the Advanced Lifecycle Edition, again, it's a bundle of uh, WebSphere Service Registry Repository version 7. And, of course, when you buy that, you're buying PVUs, which are processor value units, and that's how, uh, that's how the product is sold. And then on the Rational Asset Manager side, you've got, author you've got uh, uh, basically client licenses, like these uh, publisher users and, and uh, collaborator users, and you get a mix of those that matches your needs. And then you also have a server license component. Now, what we've done with ALE, Advanced Lifecycle Edition, we've made it easy for you by bundling them together so that you buy the, the WSRR parts that you need, the PVUs, and then you buy the number of, of publisher users you need initially. And this includes uh, a RAM server component. And then whenever you're ready or as your needs grow, you can add uh, floating users and, and additional RAM licenses as you want to. So there's a kind of a, a way for you to bundle and initially buy the ALE and then expand it um, as, your, as your needs grow. So this overall SOA governance uh, is designed to give you control over the change of responsibility. Uh, those are the people that, uh, that are involved in, in the governance of your service to give you some measurements so that you can measure the effectiveness, to have these policies that are enforced across your, your customized workflows, uh, to control access and, and keep communication of all the required parties informed and, uh, and fully auditable. So in the next section, we're going to take a look at each of these four elements, and I'll demonstrate them for you. So we'll start with storing and organizing uh, objects, both in development and in the runtime side as well.